Welcome back to the channel, y'all. Today we bring you the fourth video from the Mobile Hunters Expo out of Chattanooga, Tennessee that I went to. And as I've said in every video, if you can make it to the Northern Show that is in Kalamazoo, Michigan on the 28th, 29th, and now the 30th, they just added another day to it. They're improving it. They're making it better from based off of the surveys they did from the one down in Chattanooga, Tennessee, they're making this one better. And uh, if you can make it to it, I guarantee it'll be awesome because it was awesome. The one down in Tennessee was awesome. So if they're improving it, it'll be even more awesome. So uh, y'all check that out. But anyway, this is the fourth video. Um, we went over the Hang Free, the Hang Free booth and Van shows us about all his gear. And so let's get that video rolling. Again, we're over here at the Hang Free Everything You Need booth at the expo. And what's that? Van. Van. Van here is going to show us everything they got and, and how it works and all that. I'm willing to hang on the saddle or whatever and try it all out. So, yeah, we got uh, various different stick attachments, a couple platform attachments, different accessories, different ways of getting your gear. Um, you guys want to head around and Kind of walk you through it. Yeah. Start the products and then start, the saddle. Start over there. Okay. Yeah. All right, so these are basically are going to be our most popular stick attachments. They're all one eight full berry uh, anchoring attachment systems or HFASs. Yeah. More commonly known. With eight footers, six footers. They got a bunch of different colors: black, all green. And the Prusik tenders themselves will like change color, one hand operational and patent pending. So uh, I'll show you one on the pole, but we got a bunch of saddle accessory over there, saddles are lined up, three tethers and lineman's belts are in here. We have some mechanical ascenders as well as just uh, regular Prusiks with Prusik tenders. And I'm trying to make it as easy as possible and uh, with as much kind of options as possible as well. Yeah, so Roman ones, and we got Kong, and then on our website we have a whole lot more. A whole lot more. And those are the saddles? Uh, those are going to be our saddle accessories. Saddle. We're going to have three different bags and a back band. Uh, we have a one stick bag, like a, I'm sorry, four different bags. We have a one stick bag, which is a real long, tall bag. We're going to have a very small kind of like accessory bag, a back band, and then uh, two different kind of sized uh, saddle bags. I'll show you one of those over here. Yeah. Our uh, new Challenger saddle here. You can hop up here in a second. This will be the Challenger Series bag. That's going to be my personal favorite. It's kind of like medium size, perfect size. You need to put two like eight millimeter tether alignments or like one big one with some extra storage on the outside. Mesh pockets on both sides. And uh, yeah, all these bags can also be cinched tight to uh, backpacks. Yeah. Slots in the back of the model moving right here. So you can feel it. Compression strap through here, essentially tight like a backpack, something like that. So, kind of adds a little extra feature. Uh, down here, we have HFAS mod set up. And, uh, love to show you guys one little stick and then get you up in the saddle. That's all right. Yeah. So, over here will be the stick attachment. It's going to be basically a swab edge hitch like that with a tender splice directly into it which makes it one hand uh, operational. Put the one loop over here, pull back towards the tree in a kind of sharp, quick motion, like that, and then cam's down for you. So that's, that's slick. It makes a, it's supposed to make it a little bit easier for you, a little bit less work, and uh, 
little bit lighter. So these will only weigh 1.5 ounces. So, yeah. yeah. Versus a cam buckle, which on average weighs about half a pound. Oh, yeah. So, you want to try it? Yeah. So, the main thing to making these work flawless is going to be keeping that uh, crucic loose. Yeah. yeah. So, you just roll a little bit of slack back into it. And we'll get that off. I like to start with my short so I can kind of tend it around the tree so there's not a whole lot of excess where it's dropping below the burst button. So the goal is to kind of have the strap level with the burst button as you go around. And what I mean is just feeding it around so you don't have all that excess from it. Yeah. Now I'm sure I've made that look extremely easy. But Here, putting the tender and uh, the prusik tender and the prusik splice into one. So it punctures one, it punctures one, and of course, it looks pretty cool too. So, yeah. But uh, it's by far the most popular. It's yeah, really not even close. I got the tether one stack truck now, and I, I know it's kind of safe, but it's that. Sh -sh -sh -sh. And having that thing dangling there, and me, I just keep thinking, what thing you yeah. This would make my brain a little think I'm, I'm much safer. Something yeah. much safer. I mean, the only complaint we'll ever get with them is that they uh, these lock up really tight. Yeah. I'd rather mine lock up too tight than to not lock up enough. So. Yeah. Well. Uh, I don't know. But when you go back up. Yeah. You should be able to loosen it. Yeah, it's kind of take your thumb and I just kind of almost just mess with it a little bit and break free yeah. pretty easily. Yeah. It's not. I would much, like you said, I would much rather have a secure, no, no one has not going to slide. And then we do sell a, uh, we do sell in recommended larger size if we're going to be hanging a tree stand or a saddle platform. But they are very, very rock solid. You're not going to get that kick out, go anywhere. Yeah, definitely rock solid. And that's all the telephone phone. Yeah. It's harder. Keep solid. So has very little to no stretch, but you want to try to settle with a size waist? Uh, 36. 36. This should do it for you then. You can either go over the head or step through. Some of get those leg loops quick then. This is going to be our Challenger saddle. Offered in four sizes. And uh, all are pretty much relatively the same. But I was yeah, you're chain hanging out back here. Yeah, I know that way it's like. Ah, just didn't belt is going to be a fixed belt all on that side. Yeah, kind of hold that buckle back and then pull. Okay. Yep, I got it. Go. It's all about learning the system. Yeah. I guess that was a little different.
in light. Like you said, I can feel the, the lightness when I'm able to adjust your uh, pressure as well. So if you want more on like your butt or more on your back, you can rotate those crucifix around there so you can kind of find that perfect pressure point. I'm more of a pressure right here. Me too. I like lining up. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not a recliner person. They get these recliners. Mm -hmm. I don't want to buy it. Even, even how much you're leaning right now, I, I wouldn't be. I'm, I'm saying pretty like, straight up. Where, yeah, if you were a short neck pump up here, that's where I'm probably at the majority of the time. Put my hands I'm, I'm just somewhere like, from right there to. Yeah, so I but the only reason I sit back this far is because I like to be able to pivot, pivot around the tree a little bit more. Yeah. <laughs> I get that. Y'all okay. grandstand? That is not our stand. So we sell uh, a little over 225 products. We'll uh, have everything set up for sticks and sands. Or sticks and sands. So that's actually, we're working on that. That's not really meant to be like a pivot point. It's more so if you sit, like I, like a, I don't like to have my knees in the tree. So I sit and have my, like, uh, my inseam kind of keep me off the tree and have a foot rest. So it's just a little bit better for me to keep my knees in the tree. Yeah, just start hurting, even with knee pads. Or you wear knee pads and you're sweaty. I'm leaning over the side and putting weight torch at, at an angle that if this thing was going to move, it would move. That amp still is cut there. That amp is really good. The only thing I'll make that come off is a word step down here. I just can't just line them up. Other than that, it'll still be attached to the tree. It's just you're going to be hanging by the saddle. Yeah, you just put all your weight right in that spot. Most of the time, as long as it's not the one there, we don't get in trouble. Yeah, it's a little bit of displacement in it. The one time you like, I like it. What you can go wrong is if you get this sucker really high up, like that, that could potentially be a game. Is this the only kind of saddle y'all? Or, so we also sell a tree stand, which is like a hybrid um, stand right back here. It's going to be... It's going to be a lot shorter of a saddle. It's not going to be meant for your like your full size saddle where you're leaning. It's yeah. meant to be used on a tree stand. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, this will be like... My, like my only concern is... We're doing a lower... Tether height. And it just gives you something to kind of lean against. Yeah. So the reason I got designed it this way is I'm not I'll tell you the truth, I'm not good at heights at all. So when I'm sitting here, if I don't have a connection point, and I'm sitting here in the sky, I'll just I'll start feeling like I'm falling. Yeah. So I started taking actually my uh, safety harness and then undoing the leg loops and wrapping them around, which I don't recommend, but then I had some type of anchor point, so then I'm a lot more solid on my shots, and I was like, you know what, why don't I just make a miniature saddle for myself, and then I ended up putting it up, and it's actually our most popular saddle. So you're able to use it as kind of like your hybrid, you can still also You can zip it up if you're going to sit down. That way it's not on your butt. You won't feel it, so you can still sit here. Use it as a normal. Because if you can't safety harness, we can't recommend that it's a safety harness. But uh, they have been called restraint tested. Yeah. So it is a bit different than the safety harness because it doesn't have that shock layer in there. So basically our instructions are two feet or less slack in your system. So meaning I'm always pretty redundant in my system where I'm having that tension. And then if I were to spin and sit, I'm just taking an ever so slight amount. So, so you know, I don't want So that goes even for safety harnesses. You don't want to have your thing way down here because then you're still going to fall and not going to get back up. 
So even with safety harnesses, you should keep two feet or less in the system. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. That'll be designed as of right now, or the most popular saddle actually. We'll have guys that paired up with like a back band and use it as a hybrid. So, yeah, so it just kind of allows you to do a little bit of everything. This is a one size fits most. It's really weighs between 32 and about like 42 inches. 42 is starting to kind of push a little bit, but um, yeah, it's 27 wide, eight inches tall. Pretty simple. Pretty uh, easy and annoying. So they're very important. Yeah, it's very important. Raise molly, or yeah, raise molly on the bottom, line on the top. So add all your accessories in there. There are no Lyman's loops, however we did shorten the actual bridge loop here so that it's a little bit closer to your body, so you can use it as long as it's So you can try that if you want to, or? This system, you got to do something. rope plug worked good. was very light, I believe that is actually under a pound. No. Yeah. <laughs> if, you're, if you're a tree sand hunter, uh, so that I just feel more steady in my shot. Because I would I just wouldn't feel back if I'm just standing there with nothing like holding me to the tree or like having tension against me, I just start just yeah, uh, I can't I, I, I can't know it's, I, I used to be that way mm -hmm. when I was younger. Yeah. They can't point where I am good at tree. <laughs> people, yeah. Some people think I'm I'm like crazy because I'll be hanging out. Yeah. Oh now <laughs> now I'm one foot on the platform, one off, looking down, it didn't bother me now. But in the beginning, yeah, yeah, I couldn't do it. So, and yeah, it ended up being the most popular shot. So, we still have it, I guess. Oh, yeah. Nice. I like it. Is there anything else you want to show me? I don't know. There's a big website you can go check out. Okay, where, where we go check it out? Hangfree.co. So, uh, a little over 225 products, six different saddles, and uh, just about everything you need. So that's our slogan. Awesome. We don't lie. So nice meeting you. Nice Thanks meeting for coming you. by, and uh, yeah, thanks for having me on your YouTube channel. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hang Free had some really awesome gear. They had all kinds of gear. 
And if you hang, uh, go over to hangfree.co like he was talking about and check it out, they have everything. When they say everything you need up underneath their slogan, I mean, they got everything you need. There's 10 pages of all kinds of do-it-yourself saddle stuff and saddles and um, ropes. Uh, I mean, the list goes on. It's too much for me to even sit here and name. Y'all need to go check that out. Uh, click like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for future videos because I'm going to have more coming out.